Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation for x values. x times square root of x plus square root of x is equal to 10. First of all, we suppose that this square root of x is equal to m. Let square root of x is equal to m. And if we take a square of both sides, then this implies x is equal to m squared. Now, we substitute m squared in place of this x and we substitute m in place of this square root of x and in place of this square root of x. Then this equation becomes m squared times value of square root of x m plus value of square root of x m is equal to 10. Next, m squared times m m cubed plus m. We move this 10 to the left side, it becomes negative 10 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed plus m. Now, we split this negative 10 as we split this negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2. We split this negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we write this uh, negative 8 with this m cubed and we write this uh, negative 2 with this plus m. m cubed minus 8 plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus, we can write this 8 as, we can write this 8 as 2 cubed. We write this 8 as 2 cubed plus m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, we can factorize this uh, m cubed minus 2 cubed by using this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. According to this identity, this uh, m cubed minus 2 cubed can be factorized as m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m plus 4. And from these two terms plus m minus 2, we can factor out plus 1, plus 1 times in bracket left m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this factor m minus 2, m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2, m minus 2 as a common factor and in bracket left this m squared plus 2 m plus 4 and this plus 1, m squared plus 2 m plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. Next, m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m 4 plus 1 plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 2m plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from here m is equal to 2, this is the first value of m. Now, to find other two values of m, we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 5. And according to quadratic formula, m is equal to minus 
value of b2 plus or minus square root of value of b2 squared minus 4 times value of a1 times value of c5 divided by 2 times value of a1 and m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 20 divided by 2 times 1 2 and m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 negative 16 divided by 2. Next, m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of we can write this in negative 16 as 16 times negative 1 divided by 2. Next, m is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and this square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, we write here i divided by 2. Next, m is equal to we can factor out a 2 from here 2 as a common factor and in bracket left negative 1 plus or minus 2 i divided by 2. Next, m is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left negative 1 plus or minus 2 i. So, from here we get two values of m, m 2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2 i and m 3 is equal to negative 1 minus 2 i and value of m 1 is equal to m 1 is equal to 2. value of m 1 is 2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that a square root of x is equal to m. We have supposed that square root of x is equal to m. In this equation, first we put the value of m to square root of x is equal to value of m is 2 and we take a square of uh, both sides square root of x is equal to 2 we take square of both sides. This square will be cancelled with this square root and we get the value of x square of 2 is 4. This is the first value of x. Now, in this equation we put the value of m to negative 1 plus 2 i square root of x is equal to value of m is negative 1 plus 2 i. Next, square root of x is equal to we can write this uh, negative 1 plus 2 i as 2 i minus 1 and from here we take a square of both sides square root of x and we take square of this side is equal to 2 i minus 1 and we take square of this side. Next, this square will be cancelled with this square root and x is equal to we take the square of this 2 i minus 1 by using this algebraic identity a minus b 
whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. According to this identity, this uh, 2i minus 1 whole squared is equal to 2i squared minus 2 times 2i times 1 plus 1 squared. Next, x is equal to 2i squared is 4i squared minus 2 times 2i times 1 4 i plus 1 square is 1. Next x is equal to 4 times. Now, in place of this i squared we put the value of i squared negative 1. Value of this i squared is negative 1 minus 4 i plus 1 and x is equal to 4 times negative 1 negative 4 minus 4 i plus 1 and x is equal to negative 4 plus 1 negative 3 minus 4 i. This is the second value of x. Now, in this equation we put the value of m negative 1 minus 2 i square root of x is equal to value of m is negative 1 minus 2 i. Next square root of x is equal to from these two terms we can take minus as common minus as common and in bracket left 1 plus 2 i. Now, from here we take square of both sides and this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left x is equal to square of a negative number is always positive. So, we can write this as 1 plus 2 i squared and x is equal to according to this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared. According to this algebraic identity this 1 plus 2 i whole squared is equal to 1 squared plus 2 times 1 times 2 i plus 2 i squared and x is equal to 1 squared is 1 plus 2 times 1 times 2 i 4 i plus 2 i squared is 4 i squared. Next x is equal to 1 plus 4 i plus 4 times in place of this i squared we put the value of i squared negative 1 value of i squared negative 1 and x is equal to 1 plus 4 i 4 times negative 1 negative 4 and x is equal to 1 minus 4 minus 3 plus 4 i. This is the third value of x. So, x 1 is equal to 4 and x 2 is equal to negative 3 minus 4 i and x 3 is equal to negative 3 plus 4 i. These are the three values of x. This is the final answer.